And we continue to follow the search operations after a deadly plane crash at Percy Priest Lake. Julia Palazzo talked with a first responder who was called to the crash site. She joins us live with more on his experience. Well, you can see that the lake does not look as busy today behind me as it did yesterday on Memorial Day with all of the rescue crews uh, operating here. But we are told that the divers will not be in the water today, but that does not mean recovery efforts are stopping in any capacity. We did see earlier this morning, you see some video right here of at least one TWRA boat on the water. We're told that boats will continue to monitor the crash site in the coming days. I spoke with Cody Smith, who's a paramedic and a diver on the Rutherford County Fire and Rescue's special operations team. Smith has been on site for the last three days with nearly 10 other divers. This is the biggest task he has faced in his career. The team used sonar to find pieces of the wreckage and also the TWRA's underwater rover. And there is constant communication between the team on the water and on the shore. A very difficult task because of how deep the wreckage is, about five to seven feet with zero visibility. He did speak about what happens uh, once they come across possible wreckage or debris. We're just putting on some of the TWRA's flat bottom boats and they're shuttling things back and forth to the uh, to the shore where the NTSB has a crime scene area taped off and we're 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 keeping the chain of custody as tight as possible so we're giving those items directly to the NTSB and they're laying them out on tarps and, and trying to um, you know do, do their part of the job Now, the NTSB does have an investigator on site that's been helping with operations, and I did ask him about whether or not divers will be back in the lake uh, either tomorrow or in the coming days. He said he's not sure, but of course, uh, once we find out more, we'll keep you posted. Reporting live in Smyrna, Julia Palazzo, News 2.